I'm so excited about these stupid trees. Hey guys, Weedy Waffle here today with part 8 of our City Skylines Let's Play. If you're enjoying what you see, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. Alright, and let's get right into it. So in the last part, we built out this university campus, or began to build out this university campus. Um, and actually, how is she doing? Ashley Darby Academy of Arts. Alright, so we've got... Tuition, student capacity, so 613 students out of 3,000 possible students. Let me see over here on the education menu. We still have 3,000 people eligible. 3,900 eligible, we can only support 3,125. Alright, I'm gonna wait to do anything more here until we get to the end of this year. Once we reach the end of the academic year, Hopefully we will have gotten two academic works and then that will upgrade our campus from unrecognized I believe to recognized and once we're recognized we'll get some more buildings. So before I add more um, dorms or anything like that, I'm just gonna wait until Until the academic year finishes. So we worked on this campus, which was great And I think we also just took care of some of our bus routes. Let's just check. Yeah, we reworked our bus routes throughout the city. So now we have one that goes uh, from Fawn Park, is that what it's called? Yeah, Fawn Park over to Magnolia Hills, one that loops Magnolia Hills, one that covers this Hickory City or Heather Square area. Um, I don't think we actually messed with this one here. So in this part, we have a huge demand for residential. You're noticing that our industry, some of these places are becoming abandoned because there's not enough workers. Um, so we need to address that issue. And uh, I think over here we have some yeah, we have some businesses that are also going out of business. So what I want to do is I want to begin working more on this downtown. We've got a good starting point here, but I want to kind of fill out this area around the highway. I want to maybe do the little work here between these highways, but then also begin to expand north. The first thing I want to do, though, before we do that, is I... <laughs> We threw this together last time, and I just cannot handle it. I've like actively been thinking about this stinking interchange since the last part. So what I think I want to do is I want to... I don't need to pause it. No, no one's using it. So let's back this up. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... We've got this road here, which we turned into a six-lane road. So we have this six-lane road going down the middle. We have this avenue coming along the side, mirroring the highway. I think this here will be another highway that's gonna come up and maybe turn inward. So it's gonna go just like this. It'll come straight forward and then maybe turn up. And then we'll have a highway connection that goes kind of through the heart of the city and will help with this area as well. Cause this one highway is not gonna be enough once we really begin to build this out. So let's go ahead, how do I best? Let's just grab the normal highway to raise it up. What height is this at? Is that a 10? I think it's a 10. Yeah. All right. So we're going to put this. Bring this straight along. Actually, we will. We will pause this because I'm going to destroy those guys. So we're going to bring this. Let's bring it along 60 units. There we go. So now we have those. And then what I want to do is curve these and send them up. But I want to match as much as I can to the symmetry of this road. I want these to be parallel. So I'm actually going to take just a really cheap dirt road and send it straight. It's kind of like my measurement tool. Then I'm going to send one over. Also at 90 degrees, make sure I'm snapping here. This is going to curve up, and so I'm going to maybe do, maybe do one right here. Okay, so all that is, is it's just kind of my guide. We're going to get rid of that once we're done. So let's bring this back up to 10 units high. And I'm actually going to do it so it's a few paces behind. Well, no, this is just a measurement, so it's going to just follow this. 
we'll bring this over. There'll be some extra space between these two. And the purpose of leaving some extra room between these is then I can actually have some of these exits come off and go in between the roads. So we can try to just help manage more traffic. I think these are, yeah, these are a little bit closer together, but that's okay. All right, so now let's turn these in. So I think if we come forward, it's 20 to 20 is too much. Let's come forward 15, match the same here. Let's come back 15. And then from here, let's turn these, oh, perfect. Okay, so now let's get rid of all of this. Using these dirt roads is just super helpful because they're so cheap that we don't really lose any money by using those uh, to measure things out. But then, is this high enough? Oh no, because what I want to do is I want to have this come straight through. Are you telling me this whole highway is not high enough? Oh no, it is. Okay, it's just we've got some uh, pillars in the way. So here, we're going to bring this straight through and then... Oh yeah, we're good. All right, so then what I'll do is I'll move these two pillars just a little bit further out of the way. Perfect. Okay. Now let's make sure that all this is facing the correct direction. So you need to go this way, you need to go this way, and we'll just cap off the end with a just a straight piece. I'm thinking what will happen is this might be even dead end once we get closer, because you know, this becomes a mountain. So this highway might come forward and then maybe dead end at some road that maybe goes along the mountain's, uh, like the mountain's edge. Or we could even maybe bring it here and then split this off and have this come become two other highways. Um, so we'll, we'll mess with that as we keep going. So we've now got this highway. I still need to come up with an additional connection into the city. That was the, the main thing this was trying to solve. So I think what I'm going to do is instead of this being an exit, since we have an exit here to get into the city, I think this is going to be an entrance onto the highway. There we go. So now we have an entrance onto the highway. We also have an exit off of the highway. And then here's an entrance and an exit. It's much more compact than these other two. Let's first upgrade this road to become a three lane, or excuse me, a six lane road going straight on through our city. And then I actually want to just continue some of this. So we've got what? These are two 20 wide? Yes, yeah, so these are 20 wide blocks. So let's continue doing that. Okay, water pipes are connected everywhere. We're still doing good in terms of both water and sewage. So now I want to go ahead and begin to do some zoning. So what I'm thinking is we've got a huge demand for residential. We have a little bit of demand for offices or industry. Now that we actually have a university, I think we'll be able to do some more, some more offices. So what if we were to I think we'll make this square offices to help protect these houses. Uh, this is gonna end up being a park. And actually, oh, here we go, hold on, we're at the end of our academic year. So we did get our two academic works, which means we met all three of our goals. So now we have a reputation level of recognized. So what did we unlock? We've got liberal arts cafeteria, liberal arts fountain, liberal arts gymnasium, and liberal arts outdoor study. Okay. Perfect. So we'll come back. We will before we finish this part. We'll come back and, and um, add a few extra buildings here to our university.
Before we actually finish zoning though, I want to go ahead and set this area. So this all here is Heather Square. Let's set this as a new district and I'm going to actually put a theme onto some of the buildings here. All right, these edges we'll, we'll clean up later on. For now, this will do. Okay, and I actually think that maybe this area here is going to be an expansion of our university campus as we continue to unlock more buildings. The uh, Maybe the campus like bought extra land on this side of... Oop on this side of the highway. So we'll come over here, fill all of this in, which this will then make uh, having this really like beautifully manicured road make a little bit more sense. Okay, so now Ivy District, we have default styles. I actually wanna give it Modern City Center. So if I recall, Modern City Center is either for the offices or it's for the businesses or commercial, but one of them will end up having I think it might be the, the businesses. They all kind of have like this DC style, low rise um, building. They look similar to this. This is a regular generic office building. Okay. So it's gonna apply to the businesses. So let's go ahead. The major need here is for residential. So we've got this office building here that's gonna protect the, from the sound of this highly populated or high, a densely um, populated road. Let's bring residential back. I think all through here for sure. And I think we'll even bring some residential up this way. We've got residential zoning going in. Let's go ahead and we'll, no, we won't speed it up yet. We'll actually make sure everything's covered in services. So we have a clinic here. Now that we're starting to expand, I do think I want to get a full fledged hospital. So I'm thinking we put the hospital maybe in this area, maybe this particular square, some kind of hospital complex. So we'll put the hospital down, which this asset is just gorgeous. I love that hospital. So we'll put that down and then we'll also put in a cemetery, I think in this spot as well. Let's try to beautify this just a little bit. So I think if we give it some pathways along the edge, let's turn on anarchy, that'll be just fine. We might be able to do it without, yeah, we might be able to do it without anarchy for the most part. And then we will bring one through as well. Okay. And then I think I actually, let's see, where is our surface painter? Let's grab this, extend this. Now we will actually, hold on. Whoops. We got too much here. So let's uh, cut this back. We don't want to get it. We don't want it inside of the cemetery. I think I have in here, maybe. Yeah, here we go. We've got what are these called? Block bark circles. All right, so we're gonna take these guys. That one's too big. Maybe we do a four meter square. Yeah. Okay. So let's bring these together here. That's too many. Let's go ahead and increase this spacing a little bit. Um, and then we'll do the same on this side. Um, if I were here, I would come to here and I would bring it down. That'll do. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Let's turn on prop anarchy. And let's grab a tree. Let's see, what does this one look like? The pink one? No. But this guy, that's, that matches this particular tree. What is this? Sugar maple matches what we have on the part or the paths. I want it to look a little bit different. Maybe this guy? Oh, there we go. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so excited about these stupid trees. Um, yeah, let's do... Do these orange ones just all the way along and i actually think i'm gonna do these and we're gonna change the path to just be uh to not be tree lined oh look at this okay and now we're grand city we're unlocking so much this part all right so we have our third loan 
solar power plant, which is awesome. I love the solar power plant. I think it looks great and it produces tons of power. Ba baseball park, water treatment facilities, water processing plants, and some bus stuff. Okay, fantastic. So we'll mess with some of that later on too. Let's go ahead and throw it on this tree. And then let me switch this. I'm not gonna be able to switch this by upgrading. So let's just grab, there we go. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Now, the one small thing we've gotta change is right there. There we go. Okay, so now we have this kind of hospital area. With that, I also want to put in a little bit of parking. So, But unlike, since this here is going to be a park, I don't want to use the park parking lots. <laughs> so these assets that we have in here, these guys are actually counted as parks. So they add value to the land around them. We don't necessarily want to do that. I want to add parking that solely functions as parking. So we have, what did we download here? We've got these parking lot roads. So let's say if we were to bring, can I bring this straight on through? How about this one? Oh, this might be a better one. Let's see. No, it might be too big. There we go. Although I don't like those intersections next to each other. So let's, let's do for this, go for the smaller one. Yeah, that'll work. Just make sure there's no lights or anything or no stop signs. Okay, and then we have to sit here. We'll put down each of the decals. So we gotta turn on anarchy. And then we put these road or parking space decals onto the individual pieces of road. So let's see if I can line it up correctly. We'll put one there. One here. All right, I'm going to finish the rest of this and we'll cut back in. Okay, so this is what we've got. I kind of put some beautiful trees next to each side and put a little railing to it. But now we've got these decals that go all the way through. And you can see they're actually individual assets. But we have some just regular parking spaces along here. We have these like cute little decals for... Oh, look, someone's already using it. Albert Jackson, who's in the hospital. Good for you, Albert. Um, some decals that look like handicapable parking spots, and then we also have the uh, electric car one. They just look different. They don't function any differently. Um, but now we have a little extra parking for our citizens, especially as we begin to upgrade these uh, two-lane roads and make them tree-lined. The parking that they're doing here on the curbside will eventually disappear. Uh, so what we're going to do now... We've got this little hospital area. I just want to finish filling out the rest of this spot with zoning. Um, and then I want to go look at the university and see what we can do there uh, for our, our students now that we've unlocked some additional stuff. This area is starting to fill out. I zoned a little bit over here as well. The one thing I want to make sure to do before we get too far ahead of ourselves is to add the high-rise ban policy. Because remember, what we want to do is kind of control what our uh, skyline looks like and kind of that increase in our skyline. So the way we're going to do that is through some of these policies. So for now, we're going to encourage biking and we're going to give it the uh, policy for high-rise band. So these buildings here will get a little bit taller, but they won't get drastically taller. So what we want to do now, we're, let's just make sure we're still fine. Water. So water's getting a little tight. So let's, what do we have here? These is where, these, these is where we're dumping. This is where we're dumping our sewage for now i'm just going to keep using these guys um i am sure that there is i could start using some of these nicer ones but i'm not that concerned about it just yet this area is filling out we're noticing that there is definitely still a need for residential so i think that we can let's see what are we what did we zone over here we've got a little bit of business over here I still want to keep this business, but we can also put the offices in here as well. 
Maybe we'll just really zone all this up so we can kind of forget about it and just leave it alone. Okay, so that will deal with the office demand. We haven't fully dealt with the demand for residential. So let's go ahead, we'll put two more squares of residential there, and then we've got to figure out a way to kind of merge these together. This suburban area with our higher density areas. cover this and water pipes as well and now I think we can go look at our university we've got 559 students what is our we still have 3,000 some eligible and we don't have enough capacity to educate all of them at once I do want to maybe put down one or two of these new buildings so we did the dorms we did the study we did the liberal arts groundskeeper drama club we have now here's one of our new things the liberal arts outdoor study let's see it doesn't tell me how much attractiveness it adds but it does add 200 capacity for students maybe this can go I almost want to set put this behind here hold on if we were to take oh, actually we already have paths back here this could go right here I might be totally messing up the power for everyone no we're fine Okay, so that could go right behind there. That looks nice. And if we even came in and just put a key along this whole edge, let's see. All right, there we go. So I now, I just made sure this key was even height all the way along, uh, and I just smoothed out some of the land. That way things like this park are flat, which will make it just much easier for us to build, um, especially because some of these university buildings are so large that it'll be a lot easier if the land we're using is flat. Um, so now we've got this beautiful key kind of along the water. I think it looks great. Now what I want to do, we've, we've built this guy. What is this here? So this is our liberal arts gymnasium. Gymnasium provides students with athletic, recreational, and leisure services. Has a citywide effect on citizens' health. Building increases campus attractiveness and needs to be placed within liberal arts campus area. Absolutely. Um, I want to do, I think I want to, let's see. This is where kind of one of our academic buildings are. So I think we'll probably put some additional ones over this way. Students are living here. I would say you want to kind of cross over. Where's the pathway? You want to kind of cross over here and you could come over this way and maybe like in this area would be the gymnasium. What else is this? This is the cafeteria. Increases land value and campus area of attractiveness. This is also kind of small. So I'm thinking we'll put the gymnasium next to the main road. How does that look? Yeah, I think it looks great. We'll put a few trees around it. That looks nice. So we'll have that there. And then I think for the cafeteria, Students are living over here. We could put the cafeteria kind of close by to where the students live. Why not? Like, it just feels like that makes the most sense. We're going to call this Pandini's. So, let's see. What do we got here? How's everything looking? Looking good. We've got some nice, uh, some nice buildings throughout. We need some more highly educated workers. So let's just quickly quadruple check all of our services here before we end this part, make sure everything is covered. We are running into some issues with our garbage. So maybe that's something we can deal with next time. I've not actually used these waste transfer facilities, so I'll need to just test those and figure out how those work. So maybe we'll do that in the next part. So elementary, 1800 eligible, capacity of 1500. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this area of school as well. Let's turn off anarchy here and turn off prop anarchy too, just so that we're not clipping all these buildings. Let's put it, I'm just going to put it kind of in the heart here. It's going to remove some of the buildings, but that's okay. We'll put one there and then we also don't have one 
in this area, these people are currently educated, but once their lifespan passes, so if we click on belief population, you'll notice that each building has its, its own color. So the green is for mostly families, the black or the dark brown color is mostly seniors, and then purple is for the adults. So you'll notice this area is, is pretty young right now. Uh, if we come over here, this area is also pretty young. But as we continue to grow as a city, uh, our population will age and their needs will change. Right now, we have a lot of families here um, and a lot of adults. So they've already received their elementary school education. Um, why can't I see the little overlay? There we go. Because we're right here on the cusp, I don't think it would hurt to put in one more. We do have this high school here. So maybe we put this right here. We give it a little path, just like it had already. Plop in a few trees. It makes everything look better. Beautiful. All right, and then high school, we're also kind of weak here. We've got a high school here, a high school here. I think I'm gonna do it over here. We're gonna actually bring this all back. Put the high school here on this corner. And then let's get rid of this zoning as well as this zoning. Okay, and this area now has a completed high school. I did just a little bit of uh, additional work here. I added in these three basketball courts covered it in concrete, put a few paths in there so people can get through. Um, and I just pushed back the zoning to here. So now, actually, let's just do one quick edit. We'll add in um, this road. Just fill all of that. Oh, our hospital looks so fantastic. Look at all the people using the parking lot it just uh, it just feels so alive i love it all right guys thank you so much for watching if you like what you saw today go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you're alerted every time i post new videos uh, i post every week and so i'll see you next week